General Quarters. Welcome back everyone and welcome back to World Warship and to Zera channels. Uh, I would like actually I was um for, uh, I wanted to share my thoughts about this particular uh, destroyer and it's the Akizuki the tier 8. And this is a really bad match. Uh, it's a tier uh, 10 matchmaking versus you know, curve first, uh, this moin and so on. If you own Akizuki, which I'll also own, please share your thoughts with the community because I never once took uh, her for a spin. Uh, then uh, I'm talking about the last patch 0 0.6.3. Uh, it's because of one matchmaking, the tier 8 matchmaking. You often gonna see tier 10 with radar and radar and smokes and radar again. And even if you don't face any radar, you may face 10.6 uh, secondary um, Bismarck, Kurfürst, Friedrich Grosse, and so on. And how uh, fun it's to play when you right now this dude is selling uh, 32.8, which is wow, fast for a destroyer, right? Now, seriously, guys, we have a huge pleasure to watch uh, Missy. We just call him Missy. Missy is taking this uh, weird. No matter what you're gonna see here right now, folks, I still believe that Fletcher, Gehring, uh, and some Japanese uh, destroyer are still better. The best of, them, of, of all, of course, the Russian ones. Remember, the Russian received a huge um, buff. The HE uh, H do, do, do more damage from 1600 to 1900. And this Akizuki is doomed because. Yeah. When, when Gehring and Akizuki is facing. Uh, uh, how should I say? Um, okay, Hipper. He was not took by just captains alone. He was uh, maybe some crews, but definitely Gehring who was there. At short range, uh, I'm talking about six kilometers, Gehring can take a Shimakaze very, very fast down. I'm not talking 10 kilometers, I'm talking around five, six kilometers. The Shimakaze is doomed. <laughs> when uh, two destroyers engage in one destroyer, well, that alone destroy it's yeah and same thing goes with this uh, uh, Japanese uh, destroyer okay she might have a lot of HP pool but versus um, cruiser you are a snack and you don't have speed and your reload I'm talking about reload time of those torpedo it's for me a damn joke it's too long for one single freaking launch. I do believe, uh, seriously, guys, that you're never gonna believe what I'm gonna say right now. A smart Kiev captain will basically uh, eat you alive with his, your Akizuki. And especially if Akizuki does not have HE fuse, uh, you know, the uh, HE better penetration, then will struggle even hard. Because all uh, uh, Kiev captain has to do when they uh, seeing uh, Akizuki, just make distance. Because um, uh, even though they, you have 1000 meter per second bullshit, uh, I'm talking about the, the speed of your shells, I still believe they are kind of a lazy. I'm talking about the draft. They, the shells um, uh, have this. Um, how should I say? I don't find the right word. They are slower in the air when, like this. Okay, we have a huge range, 12.5, but it takes and uh, either way, long period of time until the shells hit the target. Maybe it's called um, shells draft. Yeah, maybe, maybe it does that. <laughs> Why this captain does not open fire? Yeah, that's weird. In the last patch, we could invisible fire, no more. 
and I really do believe even the US uh, destroyers they open much much less fire right now the only uh, destroyer line that did not fell any nerf whatsoever in the last patch is the Russian they st still they do their own thing they are constantly moving 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 and shelling your enemy within uh, let's say 10 to 14.6 I do believe that's Kiev's range 14.6 Udalois range 14.6 uh, the the only one has a shorter range it's uh, Grozovoy and of course Kabarovs yes you heard me right Kabarovs does not have 14.6 range <laughs> no, not open fire <laughs> now this <laughs> this captain is becoming a torpedo boat okay uh, don't get me wrong it's a good torps they are fast and they are uh, hard hitting but Come on guys, it's a goddamn joke for uh, uh, torpedo and just sometime each and every, I don't know, three minutes or four, you have two launchers. Yeah, how fun is that? And by the way, if you have Akizuki and if you have Bliskavika, Bliskavika, the Polish uh, premium destroyer or Sims, please let me know, did you ever play with them? Okay, we pop smoke, now we can use the guns. Yeah, how fun. Of course, if you'll be a US, you'll do the same, right? But at least US has, uh, I do believe May has, has 12 torpedoes all together. Uh, then you have 10 in Benson, 10 in Fletcher's and 10 in uh, Gehrig's. I have this gut feeling that Fletcher's torpedo will reload a whole lot faster than this Akizuki's uh, reload time. How much damage do we do to these torpedoes? Okay, we put one fire, but I can believe that I can see 69 hits did zero damage. Yeah, that's the life of this. If this will be a Russian, man, this torpedo will be die dead already. You see what I'm talking about? Zero damage. Yeah, you can stay there all day. Only fire takes him down, but not damage. All those shells, which I, it's over 100, it's zero damage, folks. That's the brutal power of this Akizuki. You don't even scratch it. Yeah, you kill him by torps, but by uh, shelling uh, rains. I, I don't believe there's any destroyers uh, so weak HE penetration. I mean, seriously, guys, I do believe that on this turpets, this captain, he had around 115... Uh, I'll, I'll prove it for you what I'm gonna say right now. This is what I'm gonna say. 166... Uh, non penetration, only 26 penetrate. <laughs> I hope you see this thing over gaming. It's a, a big goddamn joke. What? 80% of all your hits in non penetrate? <laughs> Most of damage, and that was a really good. All four torpedo hits. Uh, that was just bloody amazing. This. Um, uh, battleship captain was playing very 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 poor so most of the damage you see that 50 57,200 I do believe he had 2,000 in uh, guns or some in fires but if you take away the fires and uh, how much damage all those incredible 26 penetration I do believe you come around 3,000 damage all rest it came from fires and torpedo <laughs> this is the new life for you and same thing goes wargaming with the bliska with the polish the torpedo uh, of that uh, destroy it's a goddamn joke six torpedoes i mean hell minica the tier 5 has six torpedoes but they are much much better much faster and do more, much much more damage and uh, today's meta if you as a tier 7 uh, destroyer if you're so close that let's say within secondary range or around six to eight kilometers from a battleship they will melt you they have such a good guns they will one shot kill you back to the port so i know uh, uh this re replay it's that 
has to show you how careful you have to be in the Japanese destroyer. Remember at the beginning uh, this enemy uh, Shimakaze paid the price and she played for around one and a half minute and went back to port. That's the life of a destroyer for you. I'm almost... Okay, I apologize for this replay bug. Okay, we engage in Minotaur. Minotaur, uh, it's a soft. As a cheesecake, we we should uh, do a lot of damage. Even we AP, as soon as showing perfect browse on AP will do much better. We're still using HE, that's kind of interesting. We do a lot of damage to this... Uh, okay, uh, when you are using HE, that target must be real soft to do any damage. 2300, yeah, it was because she's very soft. But over here, AP, AP, dude. Oh seriously? If we, if you, he, this captain had eight pins, that he will nuke this uh, Minotaur. A whole lot, uh, one or two salvo ahead, because AP it's not a joke, especially towards. Um... Now this captain had luck because Minotaur was not uh, even once considered to shoot back. <laughs> Matter of fact, he, he has full HP. That is weird. Very, very, very weird. It's true, a uh, real heavy cr cruiser can be good, but it it takes a little bit luck, the position, and you have to have someone to spotting for you while you're in the smoke or while you're behind the island. You can do amazing good, um, uh, I'm talking about games with your real heavy cruisers, if you have this good opportunity. You have to be in the right time at the right place. Otherwise, it might end like this Minotaur and, and so on. Uh, but uh, Wargaming, the thing is, uh, it has been a huge damn change, I'm talking about the, the, the playstyle of some destroyers. I can still see a lot of destroyers at high tier, but many of destroyers are playing much more careful. They don't use that much guns, they try to not be spotted and so on, because if you're doing a good job, you don't ever want to be spotted in any destroy. You just want to kill your enemy one by one by one, but not being focused fire. Because as soon as you are focused fire, you are going down very fast, and especially Nakizuki. I, even though you it's showing this this captain has seventy three thousand eight hundred, but uh, most of the time he was shooting while he was in smoke, and it still show you the potent close to 300 uh, damage right now we have 17 3 but remember we had 26 before uh, he was the difference between 26 to 73 was he was engaging the softest target in the whole freaking game i'm talking about the uh, minotaur and uh, in general i'm talking about the, okay this is uh, very close 5.4 kilometers i want and we still this captain is still using h well i do believe and here's my thought this captain is a noob you never gonna shoot uh, do a lot of damage see zero damage 21 uh, shells 27 shells did zero damage yeah right and somehow i kind of uh, regret that i put this uh, uh, upload this video because this is not supposed to you play most of what 90 percent of all his damage came from torps and not and of course fires but uh, if he would use a little bit more AP, then he would do a lot, and I'm talking a lot much more damage. I do believe that if as soon as you're facing a German battleship, you gonna struggle, and you're gonna struggle like hell to do anything. But the biggest enemy of this ship, to be honest with you, it's the Russian. The Russian uh, destroyer will eat you alive. Yes. You and you cannot sell away. The best thing you can do is just pop your smoke and try to not uh, engage. But I have this gut feeling, same thing with uh, goes with Sims and some other destroyer. They are absolutely, my opinion, and my viewers this also said, some destroyers are absolutely useless. No good ships whatsoever. So the play style and everything. Yes, you can do do good well if you ambush uh, like this Captain Bismarck, but it has to be with a very amazing good uh, torpedoes. Now, uh, this Bismarck, it's way too close to dodge. 
you can still dodge but now it's more or less too too late and we have okay and now this captain is does not even pay attention okay this is the captain is doomed and he eats two torpedo hits and we do of course zero damage what do you think and he will maybe eat oh man that was a lucky dodge and <laughs> I know I knew it I'm happy that I upload this game this is showing the brutal power of this ship uh, 49, 50, 51, 51, 51, 52, 52 hits, 58 hits, 0 damage, 60 hits, 0 damage, 65, 66, uh, 0 damage, 70, 72 hits, 0 damage, 76, uh, 80 hits, 0 damage, F uh, fires are the only thing. <laughs> yes sir, thanks guys for watching, have a good one, bye.